Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Checking in on the sec tech sector, and the bulls remain strong. We saw the open at the low. The bulls bounced right off that middle Bollinger Band for the second day in a row and closed up near the high. A green Marabozu candlestick showing the bulls in control from the open to the close. And yet again, there was weakness in the financial sector that saw weakness in SPY. And the fact that the tech sector did not roll over and see weakness held up the S&P 500. The correlation between the two is extremely strong. And we saw a nice recovery here by the tech sector. So a nice recovery in the S&P 500. Resistance from here is going to be 53.44, 53.49. And then the highest price we've seen, 53.66. So the bulls have established their higher low now. And that is at 52.94, the low of yesterday. And we need to see a bull break of 53.49 to be heading back towards that high and to negate from the possibility of any lower highs and lower lows. So the S&P 500 does have some clear lower highs and lower lows in March where the tech sector does not have that clear pattern right now. So they're a bit ahead of the game, so to speak. And as long as that middle Bollinger Band holds, the middle Bollinger Band is that key support to be watching. So the bulls in full control, the weekly time frame continuing to hold exponential support. The four period here is 53.12. And we have been holding that level for weeks and months, and we have not seen two red weeks in a row since the election. Bulls still in full control. We'll be watching for a loss of the exponential moving average resist or supports on the weekly time frame to indicate a change in that trend short term. But as of right now, not seeing that anywhere in sight, especially with the strong day today. Apple new all-time high. Bull flag confirmed. Nice, healthy consolidation. We broke that double top of 144.50, saw strength to the upside, saw a close at the highs. We're on the verge of a bullish MACD cross, and this is an ideal scenario for the bulls. Blue sky breakout, and looking at the upper Bollinger Band is the only resistance from here. 145, psychological resistance will be a level as well. But other than that, the upper Bollinger Band, which will be approaching 146 tomorrow, is the level to be watching. So we finally saw a break from tight ranges. Bulls were loving those tight ranges because it was healthy on that consolidation. Now the range has opened up, favoring the bulls. And if we see an uptick in volume tomorrow, if we see more than 20 million shares traded, we should see a nice move into the 145s and see some nice continuation. Some of the blue sky bulls recently, we've seen Tesla and Amazon absolutely explode. Let's see if Apple follows along here and sees a big move to the upside tomorrow with that follow through. Weekly time frame extremely strong. We've only seen one. We haven't really seen a bearish week in 2017. The most bearish week we saw was just an upper wick of profit taking and it was still a green week. So the bulls are extremely strong in Apple. No slowing down at this point. And blue sky breakout ideal scenario. We have a new key support to be watching. The low of this bull flag consolidation. It's a little double bottom. 143.01. 143.05. Facebook bulls not seeing as nearly strong action today, and we saw a very strong bounce yesterday and closed up near the highs, so surprising that we didn't see any bullish follow-through. It's an inside bar showing a tightening range, and the range to be watching tomorrow is 141.27 support and 142.09 resistance. Get a break of 142.09, and we will be looking for the bulls to show up. This is still a bull flag pattern as well. After a big move to the upside, we're seeing pretty contained consolidation. It was a little bit more of that than that yesterday, but the bulls did buy the dip to maintain in this channel a parallel channel of support and resistance on this consolidation. So the bulls are still looking great. If we get a break of 142.09, we're looking back up towards the all-time high. If we break 141.27, 
We're looking down at 140.82, the low of the week, and the middle Bollinger Band support, which has been holding for over three months. Losing the middle Bollinger Band on the daily will be a red flag for the Bulls because it has held for so long. Most recently, the lows and consolidation tests. But as of right now, that is not in the picture unless we break the low of today and the low of Monday. Then that middle Bollinger Band will be on deck. So still healthy consolidation for the Bulls. We'll be watching to see what this weekly candlestick shapes up like. It is a bearish reversal doji at this point, but we are still above exponential supports, keeping the Bulls in control on the weekly time frame. So that's what we've got for the tech sector. Still extremely strong. Looking for Apple continuation tomorrow. Congrats to the Apple Bulls, and we'll check back in tomorrow as well.